Hello everyone, you are listening to You've Got 5 Options show on Radio. Tune in at 98.7 every Monday and Wednesday at 11.30 and every odd Friday at 2 o'clock. Join us while we are solving yet another life challenge and if you decide to share your problem with us, yours can be next. Hello everyone, this is Marta and this is Anna and we are back on our You've Got 5 Options show. And like always we have with us Lasse. Hi, thanks for having me back. Yes, always. Yeah, also because you are our technician, but uh, but mainly because you're so awesome. Yeah, yeah we have already established, uh, we have already made it clear that we are best friends in our last episode, so... Yes. Yes, we are. We are against all odds because, guys, Lasse has subscribed to our YouTube channel. So for me, that's friendship. And now he just have to get five other people and then Marta will consider him a friend mm. because this is how it works in her world. I have my uh, work cut out for me then, you know. So. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, if you want to know exactly what it's all about, you have to listen to the previous episodes and actually it will be quite useful for you in every possible way because those uh, previous episodes are A, funny, B, you know, authentic. <coughs> Where did that come from? B, 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 and they have also animal sounds. Was a very yeah, or maybe you were saying it in a Danish. B, or, no, or, you know, it's in Polish. Yeah, we like to we like to mix it up. We like to yeah, mix yeah, the languages. Course. Marta, well, good job, good job, darling. Yes, so they are B, authentic, and <laughs> C. Okay, maybe maybe Danish. What is C in Danish? C. Oh, Jesus. And C, or C, C they also uh, are about an actual life challenge from one of our listeners, Tobias. And if you would like to revisit them, please go to our YouTube channel. It's enough just to put in a search box, you've got five options, you will get there. Then you have to subscribe if you want to be our friend. And uh, for me, it's enough if you will just su subscribe. For Marta, you have to get five more people and then you can uh, find all the episodes. So if you found yourself accidentally listening to the third part of Tobias challenge, you are most welcome to go back there, revisit, listen, and yeah, bah. <laughs> <laughs> if you are more of a podcast person, you can also find them in your podcast app or directly at our website, the5options.com. Yes, and we are everywhere. Our podcast is everywhere, except of Stitcher, because something went wrong. But I am fixing that. So hopefully, hopefully. by the time you are listening to it live <laughs> on the radio. <laughs> 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 no, okay. Maybe we should we should actually explain a little bit for our listeners. So our shows, as you know, are on Monday and Wednesday at 11.30 Central European time. However, we are pre-recording them because we cannot be here all the time because they don't want to let us in. They have other people recording. So we are pre-recording those episodes, but we are live every odd Friday from 2 to 3 o'clock in the afternoon so you can always uh, just tune in it's a uh, 98.7 fm or there is a link to uh, to the radio which you can find on our fan page my god i'm on fire with this promotion and then you can always uh, tune in and the good part is uh, that it's totally live so we just say stuff and you can also ask us questions live yes we totally encourage you to join our live show either as a guest or as a person asking us questions over messenger but now let's go back to tobias Sh shouldn't yes. we isn't it a good idea yeah yes. okay so 
Tobias, you are a person that has to listen to three of our shows to get your full answer. I think to that you are very privileged. We normally don't do three shows. No, you are the first one who received three uh, shows yet. So that means one hour and a half of fun and inspiration and support in your big challenge. And uh, for all of you who are now listening to it the uh, first time, Anna, can you please read the challenge? Yes, I will read the challenge again. I would really like to start my own business. Business. I know exactly what it will be and I have well researched how to deal with all the practical things. I have consulted a mentor with my business plan and it all looks really solid and promising. Yet I am stuck. Even though I have my resignation form printed and signed, I keep on second guessing myself. I have been procrastinating telling my boss. He's such a lovely gentleman who has been a great manager to me. I really don't want to disappoint him. It's very difficult to say goodbye to my good colleagues and the nice routines that I've developed over the years. I feel that I'm missing the self-confidence and the trust that it will all work out. I am also quite a shy person and I have no idea how to overcome that as I will have to do the networking and reach out to potential clients. Do you have any good tips for me? So in the first show on Monday last week, we have talked a lot about saying goodbye to Tobias's boss because it seems like the boss was a very important part of Tobias's life and saying goodbye has been quite a big part of the challenge. Then on our show on Wednesday, we have talked about saying goodbye to the old life and routines and saying hello to the shyness. And today we will be talking about saying hello to your self-confidence and saying hello to the trust. Yes, and I would like to say that those episodes were really great. So please revisit them if you didn't hear them. I think we had a really magical moment here in the radio, especially in the episode number two, and it was B very authentic. I can see that B <laughs> will not be forgotten. So I'll have no. to really consider if I sh will not cut it all out. Ha! Oh yeah, we're so smart and funny. That's not funny, Marta. That's not funny at all. Okay, so Tobias, basically self-confidence is a quite an interesting concept. In general, con confidence and self-confidence are very interesting concepts. So you might have confidence that you are good in doing something. Like, for example, you were playing basketball or your, all your life and you can be very confident that you can play basketball and be completely lacking self-confidence because confidence can be built on experiences, you know, based on past experiences that you can do something because you have tried it many times and you have proven yourself in many different occasions. That's confidence. But self-confidence, the true authentic self-confidence has nothing to do with your past experiences and being successful over and over again. Actually, self-confidence in reality is knowing that you are gonna make it even if you fail. Mm, that's and an interesting, uh, yeah, actually I was thinking when you were starting starting to say about this and by the way guys we are very sorry because as you know we are in a radio and we have a bunch of really creative people that are having a creative meeting and they also have a very creative ways of using cutlery and plates so you can hear them but this is this is the conditions we are in so we are really sorry. The second thing is exactly when you were saying so, say hello to your uh, self Confidence, I was thinking, yeah, but what's the difference between confidence and self-confidence? So thank you for that, Marta. Yeah, I, I just thought when I was preparing for, a sol when I was solving that challenge, I just like, you know, dig into and went to the, like the wisdom place called the Googles. <laughs> <laughs> the Googles. <laughs> no. <laughs> a new letter. This program is sponsored by letter A, B, C and C. I think Sesame Street had that, right? Sesame Street was, was sponsoring, uh, you know, that there was a featured letter for kids to learn. No? Okay. We will Google that. <laughs> <laughs> Google time. Okay, anyway, I have also listened to some podcasts uh, uh, to educate myself a little bit in that area. So basically, self-confidence is something that you always have. 
it's not dependent on your experiences. So it's not something that you are going to lose in case of a failure. So actually the authentic self-confidence should never be mistaken with arrogance because there are those people who come across as very self-confident and so on. But the actual true self-confidence or the one that is ideal for me, let's put it this way, it's now my understanding that I'm bringing here, is the one that never has to put anyone down, is the one that uh, doesn't hurt anyone, is not the screamy, huge uh, part of you that I'm gonna make it no matter what, is that actual balance within yourself, is that knowing that inner trust, and we will be talking more uh, about the trust in the next option, that no matter what, you're gonna manage. So even if you fail, even if you if something goes wrong, you know you can take it because you know that every single failure is an opportunity to learn and you know that growing is through failing and learning. So I loved this definition. I thought this is so beautiful because it's not possible to never fail. It's not possible that everything always works out the way we would like it to work out. It's not possible to base everything on past experiences in your life. So building a true self-confidence is actually building your trust in yourself, which will be in the next option. Yes, that's uh, that's uh, very linked and I love this definition as well. So thank you, Marta, for that. Lasse, do you think that uh, self-confidence, I would say definition that Marta gave, it's, it's the accurate one, that it's something that is within you, the feeling that no matter what will happen, I will make it. Uh, w yeah, that's definitely a very uh, interesting um, point of view I've never um, thought of before. I think that makes sense to me in a way you know um that kind of trust in yourself that if you really want something and you work hard to get it you you also know that i'm probably gonna fail more than once but i know that i'm good at this and i know it's gonna take a couple of tries to succeed so yeah i think that's a very interesting take on it i've never thought of it that way before but i, I think that's a, a, a good way to view self-confidence as something yeah not being afraid of failure Yeah. you still have confidence that you can make it despite of that you know mm -hmm. or yeah that's just a natural thing failure you know that's that will happen to you not being scared because of it still going for your dream or feeling the fear and doing it anyway yeah yeah so Tobias, you have mentioned that you feel that you are lacking the self-confidence to go for it, to go quit that job and start your own business. So I just wanted to tell you that it would be such a beautiful gift that you could give yourself to start building your self-confidence because your self-confidence depends only on you. It is nothing that someone can take away from you or I mean, you can let others take it away from you, but it is your own thing. It depends on what you have in your mind. So basically, self-confidence is about managing your mind. Yeah, I, I totally agree. And I think that uh, some of us and I, I, I was always trying to figure out, you know, how, how, how is it that some of us have way more self-confidence and some some of us just struggle with it. Well, sometimes a self-confidence, you know, can be exactly as you said, Marta. You, no one can take it from you, but you can allow it to be taken from you if you allow other people to, to affect you very much. But it's really, really interesting. How would you say to Tobias that he can build it? So I would say that if we uh, assume that self-confidence is something within you, something that you can manage and something that you can build is something that you can give away to others. And if you can give away something, that means that you can also take it back. So it's all about taking as always, actually, it's all about taking responsibility for yourself. And with responsibility, you get your power back. So you have to acknowledge that there is only one way to build your self-confidence is about managing your mind. So of course, depending, we were talking about it also when we were talking about shyness, depending on where the lack of self-confidence has come from, has there ever been any events that have built up uh, on uh, the lack of self-confidence? Have there uh, been yeah, like experiences or do you feel like you were born this way? Uh, there could be, of course, some different ways to approaching it, but still no matter where it came 
came from, it is yours. It doesn't have to be the big screamy, uh, you know, one where you are the star of each and every single meeting. Self-confidence can be something totally quiet, something totally balanced, something totally within yourself. And the way to go is actually, uh, I believe, through this self-trust. Uh, and uh, I guess we will soon have to go to this option to actually disclose how to get there. Yeah, I actually love that option and I'm I'm really looking forward when we'll be discussing it. But I think uh, the last thing I would like to point out here, one of the very dangerous things is, of course, we are all born somehow different, but is to believe that I was born this way and this is how it is, you know? Like I was born with a lack of self-confidence or I was born shy or I was born like this or like that. Yes. I think all kids are different and since the newborn, yes, this is true. But I think life is about realizing that you can reinvent or recreate yourself, that you actually have the power to change. I think Lasse is abandoning us because he has to join that creative meeting. I have to go to a meeting, meeting unfortunately. Okay, so Lasse, you can say goodbye to our wonderful listeners. Bye. Bye, listeners. Bye, listeners. And we will have to go through the trust, the two of us. So Lasse is gone, but we are not because we are You've Got Five Options. And yeah, we continue with Marta. And we are not inviting to that super awesome creative meeting. Yeah, <laughs> we should take it personally. <laughs> what the hell? No, we are not taking it personally. We are happy for them and we are happy to be here as well. So you were, Anna, uh, finishing your thought and I don't remember if you have managed to finish about yeah, this. I, yeah. I finished, I finished because uh, I was just talking about, you know, very dangerous um, thinking that, you know, I'm born this way. And uh, yeah, guys, yes, we are all born some way, but it's totally in our power and capability to change ourselves, to reinvent ourselves. And I saw it so many times. And, uh, you know, it's like I, I met people who almost led like five different lives, you know, and it's it's work, but it's it's beautiful, gratifying journey to to reinvent yourself into the better version. So yes, you might have been born with certain personality traits or predispositions, but if you consciously make a decision that you would like to work on it and change it because it no longer serves you, it's not only possible, it's um, it's it's amazing. It's totally amazing. And in case you guys didn't know, we also, as part of You've Got Five Options, actually work with people directly as well. So if you are one of these people who would like to uh, get some support on your journey to working with your limiting beliefs, your self-confidence issues, uh, just wanting to get out there and really move on in your life. We are organizing events. We are organizing workshops and we also offer individual coaching and mentoring sessions. So if you would like to work with us, then you can visit our website, the5options.com. T-H-E-5 options.com. And now let's move on to this trust. So saying hello to the trust. Trust is a very interesting topic. And also when I was researching, uh, preparing for solving that uh, challenge, I thought that it is worth mentioning two types of trusts, the self-trust and trust to a higher force. So some of us uh, call it a God, others call it universe. It can have many different names. Uh, we, we can have our uh, private names for that. But many of us believe there is something out side or something bigger, something, uh, yeah, bigger than us. <laughs> <laughs> something that can guide us, something that is a source of a, of a high frequency, high energy, something that we can try to discover and, and take from. I think we, we are both from Poland originally, if you haven't noticed, listening to B authentic. <laughs> Uh, and, you know, of course, we were raised in a culture when uh, Catholic Church is the dominating uh, religion. So w let's say we believe in God. But of course, you know, this is a personal thing. Actually, I'm not a part of a Catholic Church anymore. Should I say that? 
I don't know. I don't know if it matters. Uh, yeah, but uh, let's say over the years, and that's actually fantastic thing. Fantastic example. I was born a Catholic. I was raised in that religion. I was going to church when I was a kid and I actually was going to church very often. And then through uh, discovery, curiosity and also work on myself, I have redefined myself at the definition of God. Everything can be changed. Also very, very hardcore setups because I think religion and culture are one of the most strongest influences on us. So another example. But yeah, that's what we mean. The higher power let's call it like this the journey to the higher power however is still through us so i think the most important and that we will talk about the most although we don't have that much time left <laughs> no. but anyway self trust what is that self trust for you anna self trust it's a uh, quite um, because when you define self confidence meaning the belief that you actually can make it even if you fail that comes from the self trust and tr and you know actually self trust it's not something that you can take it for granted and many times we doubt ourselves i think and many times i have doubted myself uh, can i really do it can i really trust myself especially if you have some issues let's say with addictions then you might think okay if i will i don't know drink or whatever i don't trust myself so self trust is a a belief that i can rely on myself and in a way moderate my behavior and my attitude regardless of anything around me that's this is how i would define it yeah it's a, it's a very good definition and of course self trust can mean something uh, different to all of us the reality though is that if we are lacking this if we are lacking this connection with ourselves this uh, love towards ourselves and being our own very good friends and having our own back it's very difficult to succeed in life so actually to be able to be successful to be able to go through that journey of uh, quitting the life that has served you for a while and no longer serves you and going out there facing new challenges starting your own business you really have to work on that self trust and that's a good part the self trust can totally be worked because it is very internal it's it's very much yours is something that you can cultivate within yourself is something that you can increase each and every day so that's very good news it really depends on yourself it's really something that you can work with and uh, that's something that you can build over time but you can start now today yeah and i think marta you have a really good tips on how to actually start to slowly build your self trust yeah i have uh, also reached out to the googles uh, <laughs> <laughs> to the Googles. <laughs> yes. To the shuffle. That's from yeah. a movie. So basically there is a lot of articles and if you reach out to our written version of your challenge uh, that will be posted on our website, you'll find the links because I found some really nice articles about how to build your self-trust and how to build the trust that everything is going to be okay that trust in the universe or trust in the god in the higher power. But but basically the the road the path to the trust in the universe anyway comes f uh, through the self trust and it's really about staying in touch with yourself so it's really creating time in your everyday life where you have the time to be listening to yourself where you have the time to recognize what is it that you really like what is it that you dislike what is it that this inner gut this inner guidance is telling you because then you will be also feeling much more confident you'll build up on your self confidence that you can depend on yourself that you can have your own back and that uh, you will have your inner support no matter what happens marta very smart thing that you have just said was that uh, you build self trust by listening to yourself by going into yourself by spending time with yourself and now i thought why it's so important because you know of course i gave gave the example with the addictions you know when people consume i don't know alcohol or they take drugs and then they turn into another person and then they can say i cannot trust myself you know but actually a more common thing that i think we could relate to is that people 
don't trust themselves because they know that other people are very easily influencing them and you can be really easily influenced by others and for instance change your mind often unable to make a decision or uh, be scared or afraid because someone told you something because you are not listening to yourself and then when you don't have that inner voice or that inner work and that kind of knowing of who you are you actually can be influenced by others and then i would say I wouldn't trust myself if I would know, okay, others can easily influence me, then you cannot trust yourself. Then also your self-confidence is going down. Yeah, and it's uh, really a beautiful topic and it's something that uh, we often discuss in our podcasts and in different challenges, this part of how important it is to set a good relationship with yourself and how to build up this ability to listen to people and take their opinions as a neutral input because it's great to interact with other people. There is a lot of great things they can notice about ourselves that we don't know. So it's not like cut out <laughs> yeah. communication with other people and only listen to yourself because you know, you, you really know, the know best. <laughs> yeah. you know, you know the best. It's actually <laughs> true. Yeah, but you know, it's it, there is also a difference. And also what you have pointed out the difference between self confidence and arrogance. Some people actually they have that kind of stubbornness, like I know the best, you cannot tell me anything I will do it always my way and so on so on that's also dangerous but here we talk about and I love the way you put it that kind of a balanced quiet self-confidence in yourself based on the fact that you are not just stubborn and you are trying to mask some other insecurities by b being over stubborn or over aggressive but that comes from that inner wisdom that you have developed because you listened and you know yourself yeah, it's really, really beautifully said. And we have some more tips for you on how to build that self trust and the trust that everything will turn out the best for you. So please visit our website and have a look because now it's time to close that challenge. It, it has been a beautiful challenge that we have solved over three uh, episodes. So Tobias, uh, you can see that you were a big inspiration for us. Mm -hmm. And Lasse has also added uh, with his beautiful uh, confessions. Yeah, uh -huh. it was that was magic. Yeah. So Tobias, good luck. We hope that you uh, find uh, that power in yourself to make the transition from your old self to your new self and that you will have a beautiful goodbye with your manager. You'll say goodbye to your old life and uh, to your old routines, that you will say hello to your shyness, say hello to your self-confidence and say hello to the trust. Yes, and we really hope that we will be able to hear from you because you can always drop us a message via our website or fan page on Facebook. And for all of you guys out there who are listening and our six YouTube subscribers or maybe more right now, we would like to say that we would love to help you if you have any challenge. So if you do, please uh, visit our website at the5options.com, five as a number. There is a submission form just on the front page and you can just send us your problem, describe it, and we will solve it for you on the radio show. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. Have an awesome week. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> You are listening to You've Got 5 Options show. Remember that we are on air every Monday, Wednesday and every second Friday. Remember that you can visit our website www.you'vegot5options.com That is www.youvegot5 as a number options.com where you can submit your challenge and find our podcast. You can also find us on iTunes or any podcast app. Du lytter til din lokale radio i Aarhus på FM 98,7 MHz og 89,5 MHz.